Courtney. I'm Sheen. I, I, <laughs> I'm here to help you organize your kitchen. I'm excited. It started with the pantry idea. You were yes. like, help me organize my pantry. No, that's not how it no. was. No, how did it go? You came over and I got something out of my pantry and you go, <gasps> <laughs> That's actually what happened. <laughs> my mom has a similar story. <laughs> you is what you said I sound like and I said oh friend. I don't really want everyone seeing how disgusting I am and she said it's fine it is so fine. we're doing it it is fine this is a no judgment zone this is a right. no judgment zone okay. because everyone else has pantries that look like this your house is always clean yeah I'm a clean person she I is, am not an organized person she's very clean like there's mm -hmm. nothing on the counters all the dishes are done everything is mopped it is clean but yeah. then you open a drawer and you're like whoa or as Christine goes <laughs> <laughs> All Courtney needs, because she is a clean person, is a few organizational systems that make the space work better. I picked up this bag organizer, the viral, beautiful bamboo bag organizer from Amazon for Courtney's bag drawer. Let's see how useful it really is. Oh, it's really it's pretty. really pretty, and yeah. it looks like really high quality and nice. Oh, that is really pretty. It's yeah. cool, right? Yeah, I yeah, love it. Yeah, you just it. have to get like a few pieces yeah, to help it. you with your space. Look, a gum wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, 20 so, so gum wrappers. Look, look at this, my kids do this too. They pull all the bags out and then they're just all in here. <laughs> we can fix it. It's why do fine. I have chopsticks? So it's hard to throw that kind of stuff away. It feels wasteful. Tell me why. It feels wasteful. Okay, so what about the clutter it creates in your living space? Right. Yeah. Are these easy for you to purchase if you need them? If I need them, which I probably won't, because like I said, those have been sitting for about a year. A year? I don't even think about them. Like when I need utensils, I go buy the box for $1.50 and... So this is then. just creating clutter in your space, right. mm -hmm. and you're not even really using it. So right. we're going to toss. Okay, yep, these. so this way. And then, ditto about the chopsticks. So you said you don't know why you have these. I so must have bought them for something, but I can't remember what. It was a long time ago, I don't know why I had those. So can we also get rid of those? Mm -hmm. Okay. So some people will say maybe donate them or or sell them or something. I have time for that. Exactly. I don't have time. At some point you're like, I, just, I need it out of my life yeah. right now. Yeah. Gum. Oh, who knew? Hey, it's sealed <laughs> and everything. Put that in your purse. And I then, don't need this Jamba Juice straw. I don't need it. I doubt it. I really doubt it. <laughs> so this says sandwich bags go here. Do you use other size bags? I use sandwich and freezer mm -hmm. size. Mm -hmm. Not really anything beyond that. So okay. the quart, maybe we'll put something else in there. Yeah. One. 80 won't fit in case anyone watching is wondering. <laughs> so 80 should I put like the Let's the put the rest of, these, rest like, of them downstairs. Yes, downstairs. Okay. And you also have the aluminum foil, which is yeah. easy to stick right and here. And I just ran out of plastic wrap. That would probably go right there. And then plastic wrap mm -hmm. can go there. Right. So you have like you open this up now and you're like that's so nice. Yay. Yeah, that's right. So, nice. so now we need to deal with everything that's up uh -huh. here. So I feel like a lot of these products don't belong here. Then where do they belong? That's the question of the day. Okay. Okay, where do they belong? So you're saying you actually do like your gum, there's quite a bit, down in this drawer. I should just take these to the gym. These were actually okay. left over from a cheer thing. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what to do with them. And you just shoved home. them in the drawer. Yeah. Okay. I'll take these back to work. Okay, so where can we put them so they make it there? Um, I usually put the, these in my mudroom and I grab them on my way out. Perfect. Does your gum fit in there? Mm, I like that. Like, it's not perfect. Yeah, I love it. That one doesn't really work. Oh, look, there's like one left. <laughs> Just eat it. <gasps> Two left. <laughs> Finish. There. Are they, uh, are they gum? Yeah, they're gum. They're gum. Okay. Nice. We have your gums here. Birthday stuff, because these are used all the time. I'm going to get, I'm oh going to get God. some little bins for the back so mm. this doesn't slide and they can stay in a container here. Okay. Um, but that's a huge improvement for like 20 minutes. Yeah. Right? Ready. Yeah. But will it stay? this way till tomorrow when you come back? That is the million dollar question. <laughs> Do you think we can declutter this pile by half? Oh. 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 Um, yes. So you've Huge. been in the house for like nine years without Eight. purchasing a drawer organizer. Yes, Got correct. It. But I didn't know what I was missing. Oh, okay. And I also feel like, you know, I'm a busy working mom mm -hmm. of five kids. We just have a really busy life. And so I thought it was more time productive not to be organized. But within the last week of doing this, I can't believe how much time it has saved me. 
Oh, if that makes sense. So, like for instance, when you organize this drawer mm -hmm. and like divided things, I'm like, oh, perfect. I need. To, I'm in the middle of cooking. It's crazy. I have to pick up kids in the middle of cooking and whatever. And I'm getting phone calls from work and like anyway. But it's so nice. It's pretty mindless to go. I know exactly where that spatula is. I know exactly where those tongs are. You um, instead of digging, know. digging, digging, digging. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know where that is. Okay, I'll buy another one. <laughs> I'll buy another one. <laughs> so that yeah. does seem to be the case with you a few times. Uh -huh. Not just you. My mom does it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I love what you said that you thought it would be time, time prohibitive to right. organize. Right. Like I don't have time to organize. Right, but. The drawers didn't take that long. No, and like, like and once, thirty minutes tops. tops. And that's like talking in between and like whatever. Yeah. yeah. So once it was done, you were like, "Where has this been all my life?" Right. Exactly. And my kids feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> my kids think Christine's amazing. <laughs> She's Wonder Woman. Did they already think that? Um, I've told them that, but now they know for themselves. Now they know mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so we did these two drawers. Tell me your favorite part about these two drawers, okay. your favorite item. Is, yeah. it, is it the bag thing? Oh, is yes. it tossing stuff? That what is it? thing is so pretty. Yeah. This is really pretty. I really, really like this. It's been so convenient because literally just, I mean, you saw before I had like its own, you know, I had the bag box and then I had, you know, bags scattered everywhere and it was like digging, digging through like, oh, I guess I'm out of sandwich bags, bags and I wasn't. But I thought I was because <laughs> I couldn't find them. We found sandwich bags for a week. Yeah, tucked everywhere, random places. <laughs> so anyway, this is—I think this is absolutely my favorite, and my kids' favorite too. Good, because you know my kids will pack a snack for mm -hmm. their activities and things like that, and they like you know know exactly where to yeah. find it. So this is a lifelong. I—I I don't think I could ever go back. Good, just good. Good. I saw this cabinet here that was a lot of jars, and Courtney is saying that. She never uses this space. Like she cans twice a year, once, once a year. <laughs> so step one is to take all the jars down and they are going to be reallocated to the basement storage. For really busy moms like Courtney and myself, a mailbox kit like Green Chef can really help take the stress off of dinner time planning and make the hustle and bustle feel a little less chaotic. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company and they have options for every single lifestyle, you guys. They've got keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, gluten-free. I have actually gifted Courtney a couple of Green Chef meals here and there and her family, all five of her kids are huge fans. One of my favorite things about them is that they are so fast. They even have new 10 minute lunches available on the menu each week. And the full dinners for me from start to finish always come together in less than 30 minutes from opening the box to being on the plate. Green Chef now has 30 options to choose from every single week, the most variety they have ever offered. So you can keep your dinner time fresh and different. The doorstep delivery allows you to skip the grocery store completely. The pre-portioned ingredients and pre-made sauces make cooking a snap on busy weeknights like Courtney has to deal with and I have to deal with all of the time. And you guys, of course, are going to give you a deal today. Use my code FFM135 to get $135 off across five boxes plus free shipping on your first box. First link in the doobly-doo below, go to greenchef.com for more details. That's FFM135. Thank you to Green Chef and let's get back to more organizing. Now that this is empty, we're gonna move on to the spice cabinet. So this is the part that's gonna take a while because we're gonna bring everything down Marie Kondo style, which is not my favorite style, but we gotta like start from scratch here. So we're gonna combine like bottles. We're gonna toss the expired stuff. We're gonna put medicines in a pile, spices in a pile, drinks in a pile and make it make sense. So when I opened the spice cabinet, it was, I have never seen anything crazier <laughs> because it wasn't the spice cabinet. It was spices, medicine, medicines. peanut butter, honey, yeah. supplements, and whatever else. drinks, whatever fits that space. Um, I'm into all day. And so were my kids getting, a, getting their little drink packets. Um, I love having my vitamins and my kids' vitamins all in one spot. Cause I'm a very adamant vitamin taker mm -hmm. and so i'm taking them every day and before it was like all right so my magnesium's over here my collagen's over there 
um, yeah, where's my allergy medicine? Like mm, somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I love the way that it was organized. Like, okay, these are the ones you actually use every day. You're not using these every day. They don't need to be where you can access them every day. Mm -hmm. They go above my microwave now where if I need something out of there, that's fine. I use a stool, but I love the stuff that I use every day. It's just so accessible. What I loved about working with you is you, you were so willing to get rid of things. Yeah, so happy to. So, so I'm willing. Not, and, yeah. and you weren't emotionally attached to like some vases and some jars. You're like, actually I can once a year, maybe. Yeah. I definitely don't need them easily. And nobody buys me flowers. I really don't need high <laughs> vases. I don't get flowers and that's fine. I don't like flowers. Justin doesn't <laughs> get flowers. And if he did bring them home, I'd be like, but those are gonna die in a week. Bring me chocolate. That makes more sense. That does make more mm -hmm. sense. So I'm not a flower person anyway. Yeah, so there's definitely things where I'm like, I don't need that. I don't know why I was hanging on to that. Now that the spice cabinet is empty, wiped down, it's time to add these shelves. I found these on Amazon, but you can get them anywhere. Like Walmart has them, Target has them. Uh, Ross will have them. Um, if you want these exact ones, I will leave links below to everything I purchased down in the doobly-doo so they just fit in like that and I think oh yeah, that's pretty wow that is nice we might just do that across the bottom yeah I think we did not do very much in the spice cabinet mm -hmm. all we did was reallocate some things that didn't belong in the areas contained them and like one or two organizational pieces yeah and we were done. Yeah. But that like spice tier guy is one of That's my favorite That's pretty things. unreal. Cause I cooked a few times since you put that in. And, and I loved how you said, hey, put the stuff that you use up front. And it's so, just so easy to see. Again, the time that I thought, because I was looking, talking about the time too, where I'm cooking, things went so much smoother because it was like, there is the five main spices that I use a lot and they're right there in front of me. Mm -hmm. That was really nice. I liked that. I love those. Your single favorite organizational item mm -hmm. from the spice cabinet and upper cabinets oh. is? Okay, definitely the the tier yes. spice thing. That, I kind of think that's essential in anybody's spice cabinet. Yeah. Right? I, I didn't know it was, but it is. I do too. I, I didn't get one for years and years. Oh, and, then, and then I got one and I was yeah. like, this is, this is it. Right. Everyone needs one of right. these. Or two. Yes. Or three. Yes. Before we start working on the pantry, I have this space above the refrigerator, which is, I think, very underutilized. Right now, we have a million Sensies. Cordy, do you use Sensies like every day? Yes. Every day? Yes. So what we're gonna do is I have a few bins left and we are going to put the Sensies in the bins. And then we'll just put them back in here. So they're accessible, <laughs> they're here, but they're not everywhere they're just to the side you, you probably shouldn't buy anymore <laughs> that's so funny because i literally i i was it's <gasps> fall mode you were about to buy some more <laughs> no i'm in full mode so i was like uh it's this time but it's not what for these oh more sense <laughs> What do these go to? I know what I'm getting you for your birthday. <laughs> you need this. I haven't even talked about all the wallets on top of this refrigerator. I have five kids. Why are there and some of them have two wallets. wallets. <gasps> More sensi. <laughs> right here. Wow. Ooh. Yes, you can actually. Checks. Outside. Outside because it's really Lexi's messy. Lexi's checks. Oh. Do you have... No, wait, there's a good spot. Wait. No, it's not a good spot. Wait, but where else do I put it? Oh, file cabinet. File cabinet. Do you, have, do you not have files? Uh, no. No? No? You don't? <laughs> what do you mean? I do. I have one file box for like passports and social security cards. And your kids' what? bank account information. They just know where to find them. I don't know. I, but yes, I can put them with passports. I want you to know that I've actually never purchased those. Those are my sister-in-law's and she buys them in bricks and then she's like, I don't like this scent. Likely story. <laughs> So <laughs> the the sweet orange palm palmander oh, that smells great. <laughs> that smells great. Spiced eggnog also great. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm it's sorry. a miracle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's a miracle. Look okay. at that. Boom. Okay, let's move to the pantry. Okay. It's not something I really clean out much. That was probably. Well, it I think that was probably clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I found these huge 18 inch Lazy Susans on Amazon. We're going to use these in the corner to access the back corner. So I have one here, one for down here. And then once we get up here, we'll do this as well. I also have from Walmart. Um, I've used these in my house too. These 
wire shelves to help with the vertical space because this is a very tall shelf also and we have a lot of wasted vertical space so if we have one of these we might be able to push it front to back and create usable storage not only up and down but front and back as well so we have a variety of sizes so we're gonna get gonna get all these open mm -hmm. um set them all up and see what makes sense in this pantry as well as ask courtney mm -hmm. what she uses the most and start putting some things back before we pull out um this cabinet which feels like a lot of party supplies actually why am i never invited to the parties <laughs> I demand restitution. You come over sometimes <laughs> while I'm having the parties. You show up at my door. I randomly show up and crash the party. <laughs> and then they're like, oh. Okay, it is mostly family parties, come on. But it's a lot of parties that Christine's not invited to, so I have things to say about that. <laughs> I also picked up a few of these OXO storage containers to decant some very often used items. I did pick these up at Ross, so they were pretty inexpensive. Sometimes you can get matching ones. So I got three of these guys and three of these guys, and we'll see if these work somewhere in here. So bottom shelf organization, breakfast and snacks. That's the goal right now. So we're gonna play with it and see where we end up. Courtney? I like lucky charms. There's none in there. <laughs> you got some right here. You already have this one. It's already lucky charms. We will decant the lucky charms. Oh my gosh, both boxes are gonna fit in here. Oh, stop. Look, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We just eliminated two whole boxes of cereal. Wow, why is that so satisfying? I don't know, but it is. Nice. It's so satisfying, okay. So we also have two open boxes of this Simply Granola, which I must say, bomb. She is telling me that my favorite pantry bin is not working for her when it comes to food. I can see how that would be a problem in how her pantry is laid out, uh, but we will utilize them for like paper plates and things later. So we're gonna go for a smaller one on things like this little Bisquick right here, the, all the packets of the oats, right? And she says this one is utilized often, so this needs to be accessible as well. So we have a little bit of organization here and we are going to try and put it um, into the breakfast area. Bottom shelf breakfast, some breakfast items on your turntable and snacks to the right. We just consolidated boxes and organize it a little. All right, let's go up a shelf. Okay, over on this side of this shelf, we're gonna put all of the canned goods that we can fit into this. This is just from Walmart. It's not the best of all the ones I've seen, Oh, I bet I could go down one here and it would work better. Ooh, I might have to move this shelf down and then this one down and then it'll work better. I think I'm gonna do that and then we'll stack all the cans here. All right, the most shocking thing about this pile is that it's from one shelf. <laughs> so obviously, I think there's some garbage in here. We have a plethora of paper plates, napkins, silverware, like plastic silverware, solo cups, which uh, Courtney uses for family get-togethers, which does happen often. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of my favorite Walmart bins and try and contain a bunch of the napkins, paper plates, cups, so she can just pull the one bin out for that evening that. and then put it back instead of things not having a place. The pantry was a challenge because it was, <sighs> um, it was, here's the thing, every other person I've helped with, they've barely moved into a space. Mm -hmm. So it was a new pantry, they've just yeah. unloaded. Yeah. You know, they were kind of starting from like a clean pantry, I just don't know where to put stuff. Right. This was different, because this yeah. was like nine, 10 years of accumulation of yes. I can't handle this. Yes. So we just tackled it one drawer at a time, pulled everything out, tossed stuff, yes. put like things together, and tried to create function, but yeah. I think we found a few good solutions. Oh, those little whatever spinny things that you put in each of my corners. The 18 inch that's Lazy Susan. Mess. If you have a weird square pantry, that's kind of a mess. Those were super, super good. You've been saying your kids have been obsessed <laughs> with that bottom shelf. They love the snack area for sure. The you snack know, area like... with that Lazy Susan. Okay, that's kind of fun. You missed it, my boys just came home from school, they opened this pantry, and I'm like, okay, you have five seconds to grab a snack. They couldn't do that in five seconds they before. Were like, spin, <laughs> spin, They knew exactly where to look, spin, grab, buy, get out. <laughs> <laughs> 
super easy mm -hmm. and very functional for my kids. Yeah. And they like it too. I mean, my boys know like this morning, hey, we're almost out of cereal. They didn't really know that before. It was kind of like, where can yes. I dig and move things around? I'm sure there's a box in here somewhere. This morning they're like, mom, you need to go grocery shopping. We are out of And I noticed cereal. that when I was here, because when <laughs> yeah. we did the cereal, you had like three boxes plus the ones we decanted into yeah. the containers. It's all gone. Right. Cause like, we go through like a box a day. Okay. So <laughs> even I, in like five days saw that I was like, Courtney, your, your cereal yeah. is gone. Yeah. And but she's like, like that was hard to see before. So mm -hmm. even grocery shopping, actually it's so much nicer. I can look and see exactly what I need. It is easier. I didn't know that before. I'd be like, I'd be making my menu for the weekend. I'd be like, maybe I do have that spice. Maybe I don't. I guess I better just add it to my list because I actually don't have time to go look for it. Now I can clearly see what's there and what's not there. So, so I love that. So you're saying it has saved you time in like kids coming in for snacks. Yes. It has saved breakfast time. Right. It has saved meal planning, prepping, and list making time. Yeah. Yeah. And wasted food. Because how many yes. stuff did we go throw, throw away that was expired that I didn't even know I had? And yeah. I'm like, Oh, actually I would have used that last year had I known that it was there. Here's the thing. When you're really busy as mm -hmm. you are, mm -hmm. you guys don't understand. You don't understand. Courtney runs a business. Mm -hmm. Like she owns a business and runs a business. How many employees do you have? Just uh, 30. 30 employees yeah. and five kids. And she's one of those moms that volunteers mm -hmm. at the kids' schools and she chaperones field trips. She is everywhere yeah. for My everyone. All the Start time. Start to finish. Start to finish. Yeah. And she works out every day. Like, and then she listens to me talk when I want to talk about whatever I want to talk about. She's amazing. Okay. You need to know that. And she's always on the go. I think it's pretty normal for people that are so busy to be like, I don't have time right. to put energy into this project that is overwhelming to me. It's fine. I'll just leave it. Yeah. Cause the priority level, it's low mm -hmm. on the priority right. level when right. your life is just clicking along. Yeah. So I love that we had these scheduled visits. It was like, Courtney, you work me into your calendar. I'm like, yes. Like, cause it's something that I love and I value. Like I really, it looks fantastic. I will absolutely keep that up. And it's so much easier now to keep up. There's a space for everything. It totally makes sense. It totally makes sense. I can sense. keep that up. Now I couldn't keep it up before because it's not like I wouldn't clean my pantry. I'd clean it out. I'd throw stuff away. I'd kind of like reallocate spaces for certain things, whatever. Your favorite organizational either item or solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we came up with. Uh huh. I really liked. What did you call those little sh those little shelf things? I've the, never seen those before. The, the wire, white, the yes. wire shelves. Yeah. I, I actually think those are pretty functional. Again, because my space is weird, I have a very long space. It's tall and, and so deep. you divided it so mm -hmm. that I could use the bottom and the top. Mm -hmm. So I can put in there double. I actually think that's one of my favorite things that I would never at the store. I would have never thought. I personally love the containment of all of your guest party supplies. Uh -huh. We stumbled uh -huh. across more as we more. were. <laughs> oh, more napkins, more paper plates. Oh, another fork. Great. But you yeah, use them, you use them weekly. I do. I do. And so you need them, mm -hmm. but they were all willy nilly. Yeah. Yeah. So I love, yeah, having them all in one space. Absolutely. Yeah. And I agree with you, the lazy Susans are mm -hmm. like the chef's kiss. Yes. Of of that yes. deep, like deep corner pantry. That's a great solution. Yeah. Yeah. And especially again, you have seven people digging through those. There's no more digging. It's spinning Spin. and nothing gets moved. Just spun. Yeah. And that's great. I do like that a lot. Yes. And this is just today. Yeah. It looked like this every, every day. day we did this yeah. and which was what? Four days yeah. of work. Yeah. It looked like this for four days in a row. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a pile over here. There's also another pile. <laughs> Courtney, final words. Um, just thank you. This was oh, really sweet of you're you. Welcome. Like really, this has been a lot of fun for me and I really have learned so much. So I am grateful, even though it was a little embarrassing at first when you, <gasps> <laughs> I, I still so claim sorry. that I did not do that. She did. I wish no. that was on camera because she did. That I did not do that. But, um, no, I'm just really grateful. Like this is great for me. I love, I love, like I crave to be organized. I want to be organized. I don't feel like I have the time. So for Christine to just come in here and just more or less do it for me and really teach me a lot of things. Even for the other spaces in my, in my house, I will use a lot of these same techniques and thoughts on other places in my house for sure. If you're interested in any of the items that I purchased to use in Courtney's like whole kitchen, a lot of them are available on Amazon. Uh, so I will link those down below if you want to shop them and thanks for hanging out with us. We had a good time with you. That was fun. Yeah. I'll see you in the next mm -hmm. video. Bye.
No, that's not how it no. was. No. Was my camera, so that's good. That's not <laughs> happening. Why not? I thought we were friends. That's not garbage. <laughs> that's not garbage. You're short, so you're gonna have to back up. Do you want me on a stool? <laughs> and it's important to note that Courtney's short. That's actually what happened. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> this thing's fall off. You're not making me look good right here. <laughs> More drinks. That doesn't sound like anything I wanted to do. You do. You do some things. Name one. Um. Nope. You. Nope. See. If that's not a Ticonderoga, toss it. <laughs> what is this? Frosting. In case I need it someday. Everyone needs one of right. these. Two. Yes. Or three. Yes. Put that in your purse. <laughs> but I like it in this drawer. No. And it escalated quickly. <laughs> it's <so> ugly. <laughs> I'm in flip flops and I'm fine. <laughs> Shouldn't you finish that before you do it? Sometimes I lose things and I'm like, oh, that's okay. gone. No, it's not. No, it isn't. <laughs> so there's a pile of money. Tell me about the money that's <laughs> well, I just, placed I random ran money. The trash isn't empty enough for this crap. No. <laughs> Bring me chocolate. That makes more sense. That does make more mm -hmm. sense. Another snack. <laughs> did you know these were back here? Oh my gosh, where did you find those? I looked for those. <laughs> so does that mean I get one for finding Yes, you them? do. <laughs> yes. What would have been your too big of pants? They're not too big, they're fine. They are. Garbage, this is this is why I love this. My kids do this. I'm like, why? When, maybe we'll try something else. It looks like if it's been not on. I can use a stool. But, but that's annoying. <laughs> yes, you are capable of using a stool. This is really difficult for her. No, it's, it's not. Justin, she doesn't get flowers. <laughs> I know you normally don't eat fruit, so it's fine. <laughs> you think Christine's amazing? <laughs> Didn't they already think that? Um, I've told them that, but now they know for themselves. Now they know mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. 